Hello everybody, my name is Lex Blazer. You may recognize me from various how-to videos online, but today I'm coming at you once again on behalf of TNB Naturals in order to teach you about pH and the TNB Naturals adjustment products, TNB Up and TNB Down. These are actually my favorite products that TNB Naturals makes, and uh, I actually use them regularly because these powdered form pH adjusters are excellent in terms of bang for the buck and in terms of ease of handling. Very quickly though, why do you care about pH and what is it? pH is just an acidity scale from 0 to 14. The closer a solution is to 0, the more acidic it is, and the closer it is to 14, the more alkaline or basic it is. When something measures around 7, that means that it's neutral. The pH of your growing medium is actually influenced both by its starting point in terms of pH and in terms of the kind of nutrient water or simple plain water that you put into it. There's many opportunities to measure the pH and gain insight from it, whether it's the pH of the nutrients you're putting in or the pH of the runoff that's coming out. Growers should care about the pH level of their growing medium because different nutrients are absorbed at different rates at different pH levels. So you wanna hit your ideal target ranges. And as you can see here, there's even a difference in what the ideal range is for soil and the ideal range in terms of pH for hydroponics. They're not quite the same. Hydroponic mediums tend to like things a little bit more acidic. So let's do a quick demonstration of how this all works. So here I have myself a little bit of tap water. We'll put a bit in every glass. And uh, the easiest way to measure pH is just with a simple color testing solution that has a color scale. And it usually comes in a little bottle like this. So first, the ordinary tap water. And what does it do? We'll swish it around. Turns kind of a nice light green color, which according to the color scale would put this at about a seven. And that's quite normal to have tap water that actually comes out at a near neutral. But obviously most growing mediums need to go a little bit lower than that. And I'm just putting in the tiniest of pinches. And I would actually do a tiny pinch of this stuff, whether it was for a tiny glass that's half full or for a two gallon uh, watering can, or even for a small reservoir. Uh, a little bit of this powdered nutrient adjuster goes a long way. Okay, and now we put in a little bit of the pH up into that one. We'll just keep them all in order. Voila. And into that one as well. And what's going on? This one is turning a yellowish red, ooh, a deep red color. And this one is turning a very dark green. Almost, I think it's going to end up being like a black green if we wait long enough. So that means it's now at a pH of around 4.0, and that means it's at a pH of, well, around 8.5 or higher. So there you go, guys. That's how simple this stuff is to use. You take a pinch and you throw it in. What's great about these pH adjusters is that they're made in Canada, I'm also Canadian, and they're non-caustic, which means that even the pH down, which is derived from like a natural citrus ingredient, isn't going to burn your skin and you can just handle it with your bare hands, just as I did on camera here. That's really efficient for you small growers who just need to take a small pinch and toss it into like a little reservoir or watering can, as I said. That's all I gotta say on TNB Naturals pH adjuster. Join us next time when we're gonna be talking a little bit about their trim scissors here. That should be interesting. And until then, subscribe and hit that like button if this was useful to you. And we'll see you then.